Mac as guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here playing Destiny 2 and I'm taking you through the exotic quest line for the Rat King. This is one of the coolest exotic sidearms in the game and has the potential to be very useful in the raid. You can do this quest as soon as you complete the campaign and it's going to mostly take place on Titan. Now this quest isn't all that long and it doesn't actually have that many steps. However, it is very difficult as the last step requires you to complete the nightfall with at least 5 minutes left on your clock. And this can be very difficult, so I'd recommend a high level fire team to play with. Now, in order to access this quest, you would have had to complete the entire campaign. From there, you can travel to Titan and talk to Sloan in order to start this quest. You'll notice that there is a blue banner that will move around Titan, and these are the steps that you want to follow. At first, after talking to her, you'll want to complete the enemy of my enemy. This is a three part mission where you'll need to talk to her in between every mission. You'll find yourself going through a lot of the areas of Titan, killing off a whole bunch of high level enemies like ogres, and eventually these missions will culminate you in talking to the reactor. After that ends, you will be rewarded with the Rats King Crew, which is a quest specific step. It's a gun that will take up a slot, although you can't actually use it, and it's just gonna give you a series of riddles that you need to complete in order to unlock the Rat King. Now you can obviously read through these riddles and try to figure them out yourself, although they can be quite difficult, so let me help you out. The first step will require you to complete three patrol missions. I would recommend just spawning on the EDZ and doing the ones around the church. You can bring up your ghost in order to find them more easily. The second step will require you to complete two public events. Again, I would recommend that you stay on Earth and just find whatever is available. You'll obviously want to make sure your fire team is working together here and you'll have to have stuff like patrols unlocked already. Now the next step of the riddle will require you to complete two matches in Crucible. You don't have to win and it is okay if you play in quick play like we did. As long as you complete the two missions, you will get the reward and access to the final step. The final step requires you to play the Nightfall of the Week, and this is by far the hardest step and where most teams are going to have a lot of issues. I've actually made an entirely separate video showing you our complete run of the Nightfall for the Rat King if you'd like to check that out instead. What you'll need to do is complete the Nightfall with at least 5 minutes left on the clock. And for our team, this took us close to 5 or 6 hours. The way the nightfall works is that all of the burns will rotate and every time you get a kill it'll add time to your clock. You'll start at 11 minutes and have to finish the nightfall before the clock runs out. Obviously for the Rat King you need at least 5 minutes left on that clock though. Now in order to do this you will need a diverse group of players that is able to deal DPS with different burns at different times so that you can get through this thing as best as possible. It'll probably come down to how well you guys manage your power ammo for the final boss as well as how well you manage your supers and orb generation. If you put the time in and the practice in and you guys are at least level 270 each, you shouldn't have too many issues though. Once you beat that boss with the required amount of time left, that's it, it's over. The Rat King is now yours and it has been added to your inventory. And this is a really cool gun, even if it doesn't end up being that useful. The reason it's so cool is because it actually becomes stronger if other people are around you and are using it, and I'm going to show you that on screen right now. You'll notice that when I'm standing here, the gun just acts as normal, but as my teammates pull out their guns as well, it'll get more powerful, and that's actually reflected by the intensity of the flame burning inside of the gun. You'll notice that the fire rate becomes incredibly fast, and we believe that the bullets do more damage as well. This effect also stacks up to 6 times, which the only reason that would be useful would be in the raid, because that's the only place you can actually have 6 people on your team using these things at the same time. I'm going to now demonstrate quickly the range at which you have to be close to each other in order for this effect to take place. You'll notice that as my teammates back up, the flames from inside will go out and I'll lose my effect. Another really cool thing about this gun is the fact that if you reload right after getting a kill, you'll go invisible for about 3 seconds. I've noticed that a lot of people have been using this in PvP. 
This might also be a raid mechanic we don't know about yet, where going invis might really help you out in a certain part of the raid if you get a kill and then hold on to your reload for later. All in all, this gun is very, very cool, and although its uses have been quite limited so far in my opinion, it really comes down to whether or not it's going to be useful in the raid, and I would probably recommend that you go into the raid with a team that all has this just in case it's needed. Also, it might be very useful in an instance where you have to deal a large amount of DPS to something very large. If you have an elite controller on Xbox, you can actually code the paddles to act as the right triggers and empty your entire load in literally under a second. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on how to unlock the Rat King. Check out the Nightfall video if you need more tips on how to do that in the time required. Drop a like, subscribe. Special thanks to Darth Dave 89 for supporting the show on Patreon. Hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.